Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my third uh, installment of the video diary on Google+. Um, since I last spoke to you, Cripple of Inishman has opened, uh, which is fantastic, and, um, and we can all relax now and just sort of get on with our, our jobs, which is a very nice position to be in. Um, and it's, it's great fun because as the more everyone relaxes, I think the uh, easier and freer the show gets and it becomes, I think, an even better show. So that's fun. Um, also, uh, we're, we're in my dressing room right now, or, or a corner of it, and um, I recently had a, a friend of mine, uh, who some of you may know, um, called Susan Blackwell, uh, recently came to see the show. Um, and she, uh, we decided it was time for a, a repeat of the now almost infamous first interview we did. So uh, I hope you enjoy what followed. Look, 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 here, I'm backstage at the Noel Coward Theater yes. with my friend Daniel Radcliffe, and you just came off stage, look at you. I know. You're still, like, moist. I'm still sweating. You're still moist from being on stage. How's it been going? <laughs> it's been going very well. Um, been rehearsing, been getting my Irish accent ready, been walking around like Billy the Cripple. Give us a little taste of the Irish accent. Uh, very impressive. Um... Hey, right. they're after me lucky charms! I'm definitely not going to say that. Well, what's a line you say? Oh, what's a line I say? Um, I know, it's hard. Dance, monkey, dance. Yeah, uh, hold on now. I think of one. It's bound to be one I say, isn't there? I guess um, <laughs> Alright, I'll tell you a joke in my Irish accent. Um, why should you never trust an atom? Why? They make up everything. <laughs> A terrible joke. Yeah, but you laugh. That's a terrible, terrible joke. But it, but it, but I find if you te if you if you're gonna tell a terrible joke, Science. tell it in an tell it in an Irish accent. Tell it in an Irish accent. I said an Irish accent. Oh, oh. oh. they're after me, lucky charms. You know, I I, I used to do um, uh, when I was doing an Australian accent for December Boys. I think I used to do something dreadful like put another shrimp on the barbie mate or something Why like not? That. Oh no, you know what I used to do? I used to do, um, whenever I'd have to just get into it, uh, there was a, a thing, Bowling Shine, which Adam Gilchrist, who's the Australian cricket, back on cricket again, oh, one of the cricket players used to, um, every time a guy bowled a delivery to him, he would say that afterwards and that was what like, say? Bowling Shine, or Bowl Shine, because Shane, Shane Warren was the bowler. And Adam Gilchrist would just say like good bowling, but he's bowling Shane. That's so that was my little story. Aussie prep time it's for nice. any young aspiring actors who might be learning to learn how not to do it. For all you drama students and cricket lovers <laughs> out there, and, and serial fans, let's not leave them out. While we were here, we were having English breakfast the other day, oh, yeah. and classic English breakfast, and I came up uh, with a great um, new sitcom for us. Oh yeah. It's a buddy cop sitcom. Mm -hmm. It's called Bubble and Squeak. You play Bubble. You're a cop, but you're also a drag queen. Yeah. And I'm Squeak, and I am um, very straight-laced and squeaky clean. And you're always getting us into jams. Right. And I'm always getting us out of jams. Okay. And I'm like, Bubble. That might be a catchphrase. <laughs> I haven't worked out all the details. Well, I, I, yeah, that could work. I'm on board for that. And that, did that just come to you as you were eating? Uh... We were I was like, what is bubble and squeak? Yeah, it's a it's a weird thing, isn't it? What else has been happening on your English trip so far? Do you really want to know? And I do. I do. I know a bit of what you've done, obviously. Um, this has been so much fun. This is so much fun. Always a treat to be with you. Um, we went yesterday to the Warner Brothers Harry Potter tour with at my parents. Leaveston, with your parents, and it was so funny because I, nobody. I don't think anybody knew, knew that, that they were there sure. except a few of the staff, and I was just like, this would blow people's minds. Um, is there anything you need to ask me? I don't know, is there anything I can ask you? Come on. Um, what's, Acting what's tips. What's the capital of East Timor? Uh, your geography, I'm not geography. I'm, I'm arts and entertainment, go ahead. Okay. Um, <laughs> which TV show did Nixon appear on? Laughing. Yes! Booyah! <laughs> This has been another that was the million dollar question. Amazing. <laughs> uh, this has been another amazing episode of Bubble and Squeak. 